Hi guys, I'm Katie Jane Hughes and I am so excited to be taking over Willada USA because today is a very exciting day. It is the launch of Skin Food. Light and body and lip butter. I'm gonna do a five minute face. I'm gonna do lips first because I want my lip butter to kind of sink in a little bit by the time it's ready for lipstick. Then I'm gonna do Skin Food Light. Looks like this, looks like this. It's gorgeous. It's a little bit sheerer and less um, kind of glossy than Skin Food Original Rich. And it's definitely beautiful under makeup. I always start on the high points of the face, pressing it in. And then I'm going to go on with some concealer. To have such a base prep like this and that has that nice kind of glow to it makes my concealer look so much better because it makes the concealer look nice and hydrated and dewy, which is kind of a life goal of mine. Always will be. I'm just pressing it in with a brush. You can see that it's helping to shear down the concealer just a little bit, which I love because you still get the uh, opacity from the concealer, but you get like this lovely gleaming glow from the Skin Food Light. Okay. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of cheek color. I'm gonna use this shade. It's like a burnt kind of bricky tone. I'm just gonna use my concealer brush. And I'm actually gonna press a little bit of lip butter right over top to make it have like this lovely shine. I'm gonna do it with the same brush. I just put some lip butter on the back of my hand. And it's just gonna give it like a gleam. Also will help it blend really, really well. And then once you've got that on, you can keep going in with more product because that texture and that lovely sheen on the cheek will just allow you to build really well. I love cocktail products, especially um, in, a, in an instance like this where you do like a five minute kind of look. I just do a little bit of powder just where I need it, usually in the T-zone. I like to use a small brush kind of like this. And just put it just around the eyes, around the nose, just to get rid of the shine in those areas so that then the shine in the outer perimeter of the face has more of a uh, impact. So I'm just putting a little bit more concealer with a smaller brush just where I need a bit more coverage. And then I'm going to do a bit. Of, I'm going to do a little bit of contour, just, just in there. Just in the hollows of the cheek, a little bit on the edge of the nose, a little bit into the hairline. Under the jaw. I like to take a little bit of whatever bronzer or contour over my lids just to connect everything. Because I'm just going to do a simple eye with mascara, I'm going to just pull my mascara outwards toward the tail of the brow. It's going to give me more of a feline kind of shape to my eye without actually having to do liner. So you're basically just focusing in one direction out toward the tail of the brow. And I'm going to ignore the inner corners because I don't want them to be fanned out and bushy. I want them to be kind of winged line. So because it really is a five minute face, I'm going to blot the lip down a little bit and just take a little bit of that lovely shine. Give them a apply lips color. If you wanted to put a lip color straight over the texture that I just had, it's going to shear it down a little bit, which is totally fine. It's more just a preference thing. I'm going to use... And then I'm just going to use this kind of bricky kind of color because it's full. And the lip butter will make things go on smoother and more hydrated, which is always nice. I like to press a lip color in to just give it a lived in kind of feel. And then I'll take a Q-tip and just skim the edges in case any went in zones that I don't want 
And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of Skin Food Original Rich, about that much, between my fingertips for a really fresh glow on the high points of the cheeks. A little bit down the nose. Maybe on the chin. Anywhere where you want like a highlighter kind of sheen. And then you could just go back in with your powder at the end just to bring that contrast back so that you've got a contrast of texture between matte and shiny. And you, whenever you go anywhere near shiny texture with powder, you just want to blot and not rub. Because if you rub, you'll risk messing up the texture of, or the blend of the two textures. 